Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, and this is Parker Shorts, a series which allows me to play a variety of games on my channel recommended by you. Every one or two episodes, play a new game, and if it gets a brilliant response from you guys, maybe play a full series on my channel. Today we're playing Journal. Now this is a game that I saw on Steam, it looked fairly interesting. I think it's one of these uh, supposedly thought-provoking games, and we all know how brilliantly thought-provoking I am, and how I completely get these all the time. I've not played this before, so we're going to experience it together. Richard Perrin. Melissa Royale. Starring in Journal. Epic adventure. Of a teenage girl. I kept a journal for as long as I can remember. Good for you. Is that it? I used it to chronicle oh. <laughs> every thought and dream. Okay. Until the day I opened it to find it completely blank. Holy shit. Did everything you write in it come alive? Is that what's gonna happen? What the shit is happening? Is it crashed? Right, we're back. For some reason the game didn't like me recording its starting. Maybe I was being too sassy and it hated me for it. Wednesday the 8th of October 1997. Nothing happened. So this is obviously our journal where everything's creepily disappeared. Maybe we've got a brother that's just playing a cruel trick on us. Who knows? He's just gone into our room whilst we're sleeping. Just gone into the journal and rubbed everything out. I feel like there's something up with my mother lately. She always means well, but something's off. It's just a feeling. I think it's because she doesn't have a face. Is that what you're thinking? Hi, sweetie! Apparently they're not going to do a voice for this one. Hey, Mom! Do you need me for something? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, right. Journal. Did you do something to my journal, you silly bitch? Do something? You mean you can't find it? No, the pages are all blank. I haven't touched it, sweetie. You know I wouldn't, Snoop. Good, because I keep all my secret porn in there. Snooping. Well, someone's been snooping. Pages don't just go blank on their own, you know. I don't know what to say, honey. You sure you didn't do anything? Mother. Don't trust people with no faces. Let's not argue about this, honey. I haven't seen it. Those are your private thoughts. If something's happened to your journal, it wasn't something I did. I just don't understand it. Try not to worry about it too much, hon. Oh, I'll try, but I'm always here to help. Help me find my fucking journal, then, you lazy bitch. I guess I'd better go. See you later, honey. Well, that was a pleasant exchange. Should we go outside? Because for some reason that's going to help us find our journal, isn't it? Right, so what is there around here? Oh, we're in England! Ah, oh, lovely. Hello. I've known Eleanor since we moved to the area. She was my first friend round here, and I think I was probably hers, too. We had each other, and that's never changed. But even once I started to make other friends, she didn't. Loner. Hey, there you are! Did something happen? I'm sorry, I just got up in other things. Oh, well, that's okay. I didn't have any other plans. Pfft, it's because you're a loner. Right, journal. Do you know what's happened? You know, something weird has happened to my journal. I didn't know you had a journal, like a diary. Oh, God, what fucking use you are, woman. Yeah, I write in it every day, but something's happened to it. I've lost everything. You mean you misplaced it? No, I have the book, but the pages are blank. That's really weird. Do you th what do you think did it? I don't know. My mum knows where my journal is, but I don't know why she'd mess with it. I was telling her not to touch it. If she did, I guess there must have been some reason for it. Some kind of reason she had. My journal's private. It wouldn't mean anything to anyone else. Don't ask me, but who could have something done it for if not you? Frustra frustrated. It's how I feel all the time. You're not helping here. I'm sorry, I didn't even know you had a journal until two minutes ago. What do you mean to say? Someone has to know something. Things like this don't happen on their own. Are we that self-involved that we think everyone knows about our journal? I didn't mean that. In all seriousness, no. It looks a very nice game. I quite like the graphical style. It's quite cool that it's all... It looks like we're actually in the journal itself. On this table. Imaginary table. I'd never do anything like that. You're my friend. Okay, okay. Alright. Anna right. seemed a little defensive when I told her what happened to my journal. I wasn't accusing her of doing something to it. But I think I might have upset her anyway. Oh, sensitive bitch. She'll get over it. Goodbye. Silly Eleanor. She'll learn that there's more to life than getting upset when your friend asks you about a single thing that you don't know something about. What's going on here? Let's go to the park! 
Ryan Parkey. Let's go back, sorry. Hello, random. Family, but he hasn't been around much lately. He works nearby, but there was a time he visited my parents and me often. And took his clothes off because he was a stripper. Hey, John. Long time no see. How have you been? I'm alright. Busy with school. Something like that. Chin up. You know what they say. Your school years are supposed to be the best years of your life. Enjoy them while you can. Yeah, I guess. Things have always been weird lately. Oh, what's up? Um, my mother's being a bitch. Did you happen... Did something happen with you and my mum? Did you touch her bum in a weird way? I don't know what you mean. Did you... Did she say something? Has she found out about my secret? No, it's not that. It's just we haven't seen you in ages. Oh well, things are complicated. I don't really understand. Neither do I, to be honest. It's just a one-night thing. I couldn't help but touch her bum. What? I sound to be understanding. Are you busy or something? I guess I could understand that. I'm always busy. Someone's got to keep this place spick and span. You think we have garden gnomes to do it? Oh! Sass. You don't even have any gnomes around here. No. Not gnomes. Just poor old me. Your life must be so hard. I really complain. Fresh air, sunshine. You should try and do it sometime. I'm outside right now anyway. Oh my god. John seems to miss us, even though he doesn't visit anymore. I asked him why, but didn't really get anywhere. He always makes serious questions into some kind of joke. It's because he touched my mother's bum. He doesn't want to come back. It's got awkward. Something's happened to my journal. Your journal? You mean the notebook you're always guarding with your life? Yeah, that one. It's very important to me. Did you lose it somewhere? No, the pages are blank. All the words are missing. Well, that's careless. You kept the notebook, but lost the words inside it. Ha! Huh. God, what a prick! No need to be like that. Persistent. Very helpful. But seriously, what could be happened to them? I don't know. Are you sure you got the right notebook? Very sure. I haven't been made a mistake like that. I'm sure you wrote something. Why is no one helping me? This is really not helpful, everyone. Um, hang on. Why are there floating random trees in the background that have been uprooted? What the hell is this place? Why are there no sticky notes everywhere that I can't get past? we go back in here? Mother? The guy at the park said he touched your bottom. What is this all about? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, let's have another little look. Oh, look, here we go. 8th of October. I feel like there's something up with my mother lately. She always means well, but something's off. I just just a feeling. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is tracking what we've done. Sure. So, we're still filling in our notebook. Even though we don't know what's happening. Oh, I thought that was the sun up there. It's just a tea stain. How funny. Oh, we can actually go up. Can we, like, go down in the world as well? I have no idea what's going on. What is this called? Is it like skipping stones or something? I can't even remember. That has the strangest array of things in it, though. Oh, I, I hit... Question mark. I'm going to jump on it. What? What is that about? What is going on here? So there's some sellotape covering that. Okay, is there anything else you can tell me, lady? Eleanor's upset because of a rumour that she broke a window at school. She says she didn't do it, but John already told her parents that it was her. God, what a prick! He's such a stirrer! Let's go and talk to John, then. I finally found something to do. It's like a mini side quest. Let's save Eleanor from her misery at John's expense. Or well, not even John's expense. What's up? Uh, window. I just saw Eleanor. She's really upset. Oh, really? Did you two have a falling out? No, nothing like that. Well, that's good. What happened? Is there something I can help out with? She says her parents are mad at her because she thinks she broke one of the school windows. All right, poor Eleanor. I hope she's all right. It's not pleasant feeling like someone's disappointed in you. Protective. But she says she didn't do it. She told you that? Yeah, she's convinced that someone else is spreading rumours about her. I thought you knew that she'd done it. How would I know? You were the one who told me so. I told you? <gasps> oh my god, revelations! Maybe. Does the journal represent our mind? And our memory has been wiped. Hence why all the words have disappeared. I told you? Why would I tell you she's done it? I thought you'd seen her do it. I don't remember saying that. Well, did you do it or not? I think you might be wrong. You'd better say now. I'm not sure. I'm sure you ought to be careful to think about it. You don't want Eleanor to be in trouble for no reason, do you? No, of course not. Yo, Eleanor. Bitch. 
I told that guy what for. Okay, window. I spoke to John. Uh, yeah, thing about that, I actually told him that you were a bitch and broke the window. Why is everyone in this world a bitch? It's a world of bitches. He's not mad, but but what? Oh no, my, my, there were more trouble. He was concerned about you. Let's be straight. Somebody else told him you did it. <laughs> it's not really being straight, considering it was me that told him. Who would do that? Oh, well, there we go. Actually, he said I told him that you did it. Why would you tell him it was me? I don't remember. Maybe I did. I was so drunk, I couldn't even remember. I was just high on drugs. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Um, admission. So what, well, it's not a big deal. I'll get it. It'll get repaired. But I got into trouble for something you did. I don't even know your parents would freak out. John asked me about the window. I just didn't want him to think I did it. I wasn't thinking. Elena overreacted about me telling John she'd broken the window. Oh, really? It's not as bad as she thinks it is, but she's really upset. I'd be pretty pissed off if someone lied about me breaking some public property. Uh, God, what is this girl? The logic here. I can't believe you've done this to me. Apologetic. I'm sorry, I really am. But I wasn't going to take the blame for something I didn't do either. That doesn't mean you go and blame someone else so you didn't know whether they'd done it or not. Hey, this guy got murdered. The police are in doing an inquiry about me. Oh, it was actually my girlfriend, but she had nothing to do with it. I'm just, I just said it was her to get off <laughs> scot-free. Of course. I don't want to talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Things well after speaking about the window. Eleanor didn't want to talk about it anymore. And in a way, I was glad. Okay. My God. <gasps> oh, can I grab these? What's going on? Why is there paper everywhere? What are these pages flying towards? Oh my god, magic words! The Girl and the Roller Coaster Once there was a great travelling carnival, renowned for its splendour across all the land. Where right. they travelled, they brought with them the strangest and most wonderful sights. The Big Top held some of the most talented circus performers who had ever lived. For the thrill-seekers, of course, so much of this magic was just the backdrop for the rides. It was right. the rides that the girl cared about above all else. Each year she returned, the ride seemed even more exciting. No more so than the year she was finally tall enough to ride the roller coaster. In her mind, she had built it up to something almost unreal, yet wonderfully it did not disappoint. As she got older, life got more complicated. Until one year, she was so wrapped up in life that she decided not to go. It was months before she realised how a part of her felt empty at having missed it. A sense of loss she couldn't explain. However, the carnival never returned. Her mother told her perhaps it closed down. Carnivals were no longer so impressive in this day and age. For some reason, she blamed herself. As if somehow it was her fault they were gone. It had it been was. so important to her. It's kept, it's because she kept she breaking all their windows and blaming it on the carnival folk so they all lost their jobs and we're back here then okay what's going on in here what is this some shit in here oh it's the next day now apparently fine let's go back outside hey bitch oh there you are were you looking for me I had a phone call from Mrs Martin earlier my maths teacher why she didn't say she was calling to see if she can have a word with you Guess I'll go and see her lately. Don't forget, honey. I won't, Mum. Bye. Thank you, messenger. My mother is the messenger of death. The harbinger of death. Death to notebooks. Hey, Eleanor, how are you doing? I'm just going to go in here. Oh, God. Hey, cool dude. I wish I knew Keith better. But he doesn't Keith? think much about himself. He works really hard, but everyone still likes him. It's unusual. What's up, Keith? Not much. Looking forward to getting home later, actually. I think everyone's looking forward to going home. Yeah, but I got this bike I'm working on and I just feel like getting so much more done if I was there. Oh, good for you. You sad man. Man boy. Child. Who the hell's this prick? There's a plaster on that wall. Staff room. Hello, you wanted to speak to me? Martin is a good teacher. She can be strict, but she hasn't forgotten what it's like to be a kid. 
really fucking boring. There you are. I've been trying to get hold of you all morning. Sorry, I'm here now. You wanted... Oh, you wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Tell me, how are things at home? Um... Fine. They're okay, I guess. My mum's being touched up by a park keeper and I keep telling everyone that I'm s other people are smashing windows, but it's fine. That's good to hear. Any problems, you let me know, okay? Yeah, I will. Is that what you wanted me to talk about? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about the math test you took the other day. Did I fail? Do I have to retake it, do I? Not exactly. Tell me, did you know that your answers are exactly the same as another student's? Uh... God, what is wrong with this girl? No, I didn't copy anyone else's answers during the test. Did she, did she believe it? I'm not talking about similar answers. There's only one answer to these questions, so most students write something similar. The answers are the same word for word. Who else had the same answers as me? Catherine. Maybe you'd like to talk to each other about what happened. Or I'll, I'll ask her. Thank you, don't forget. She knew something was suspicious about the test, but I didn't know what to tell her. I fucking copied her. Retake? We'll have to take the test again? It depends on how all this happened. If you Catherine were cheating, why don't you have to retake the test? The same one? That... Alright, whatever. I'm not even going to go there. Why don't you go and have a chat with Catherine? I'll talk I to her about it. anything to pass the mass test. The last thing I wanted to do was have to take it again. I'm going to blame Catherine. I probably did, I probably will blame Catherine. It wouldn't surprise me. Is Catherine this girl? No, this is Eleanor, isn't it? Let's go back in here. Main hall? Is this Catherine? I've always envied Catherine yes. a little bit. She's beautiful and popular. And even though she's not that smart, almost everyone likes her. Popular girl. The bane of every boy and girl's existence. Hey, Catherine, what's up? Hey, have you seen Anne today? She's running around like a headless chicken. Did <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise for my voices. Did you do something? No, why would I bother? Maths test. You know that the maths test we had? Yeah, what about it? Did you fail or something? Well, no, I didn't know. Did you do something with the answers I gave you? Of course I used them. That was the whole point. She did cheat! What a bitch! You changed them all? You used them exactly how they were. Well, yeah, those were the answers. Why would I change them? Honestly, I didn't. don't get you. What, did they? what the fuck is wrong with you? I thought you'd cover your tracks better than that. Look, you gave me the answers, but you didn't tell me I had to do anything with them. How am I supposed to know? Oh, you idiot. Everyone knows that if you're stealing answers, you have to make it look different. Come on now. You're the one who wanted me to use your cheat sheet. Oh, God, don't blame this on me. Um, okay. Well, we're going to blame her, because she's being ridiculous. You're the one with the brilliant ideas here. I'm sorry, I'm skipping this. Trevor? I got the answers from Trevor, and I gave them to her. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to blame Catherine. You know what, I'm going to tell Mrs. Martin that it was your idea. Don't you even dare! Why not? You're the one who got us caught here. I don't even need your stupid cheat sheet. I wish I hadn't bothered. Yeah, me too. Go ahead and tell her, Esme. I'm not going to admit if she asks. I'll tell you if it was you and Trevor. This situation with the test is a mess. It Trevor is! too stubborn to ever admit to doing something wrong. Somehow she always manages to turn it around on someone else. Well, to be fair, you bloody cheated as well, you silly... silly woman. Is this Trevor? Oh no, this is Keith, isn't it? Oh god, I don't really want to talk to Keith. Bye, Keith. Let's go in here again. Is this Trevor? There's always something going on with Trevor. He's always in trouble for something. It's almost as if he enjoys it. Oh, he's a cool dude. He's got his tie undone. He must be a cool dude. Oh, hey, it's you! Test. Bet that maths test I had. Did it go okay? Not really. You got caught with the answers? Someone else caught me. Someone else? What? Blame. Catherine had the exact same answers as me. Why would she write the same things? Kind of showed her the sheet. Should have kept it to yourself. She's my friend. Catherine isn't anyone's friend. You just don't know her well enough. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to tell Miss Martin about it. Oh man, that's bad. I'll come up with something, okay? Goodbye. Sure. Cool dude. Can we go up here? Let's go back and talk to her. Did you speak to Catherine? Yes, I did. Do you have something to tell me? The test. It's complicated. I've got all day. It was Catherine. It's Catherine's fault. She copied from me during the test. I see. Are you sure about this? Yes, I saw her copying from me. She was looking over my desk the whole way through, right? 
It seems unlikely she could have copied every word you wrote. I'm telling you she did. I studied really hard for the test, sort of, and Catherine copied me. I'll have to talk to her about it later. Thank you for being honest with me. That's okay. She'll probably blame it on me. She doesn't want to get caught. In the future, try not let other people copy from you, even if you notice from the test. I'm sorry, Miss Martin. I'll try. I told Mrs. Martin it was Catherine who cheated on the test. And really, it was her fault. She was the one who didn't cover for both of us. It is a two-way relationship, isn't it? Two-way relationship. You've got to expect that the other person will also cover for both of you. Oh god. Okay, well this seems like a good place to end it. It seems like there's actually a lot more to this game than I initially thought. I'd maybe like to give this another episode or two, just to see how far we can progress. It seems interesting. All these people seem very out to get me though. It is very concerning. <laughs> <laughs> but if you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. I'd like to know what you guys think of the game as well. These games always, these thought-provoking games, always make me wonder what everyone actually really thinks about it. They always get really positive results on Steam, reviews even. But I'm not sure, I'm always in two minds about these sort of things. So yeah, leave your support in the comment section below. T yay or nay, as it were. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.